Hi guys, always good to have you back. I'm back on Dragon Professional Individual and I'm looking at the commands option. In my first video tutorial on commands we looked at auto text. Today I'm going to look at the macro recorder. Now this is a great option because it records every step you do so you can create certain workflows to help with what you're doing and bring it up automatically. Before you start that, open up Word for me if you could. Doesn't matter what version of Word you got. Open a blank document and I want you to select view tab and at the end I want you to select macros just to let you know you've got built in macros see with Dragon you say a command for example research and you can bring up certain windows already for your research but you can create macros in here with shortcuts and that as well so if you click record macro you can give your macro a name there for example research assign macro to for example keyboard shortcut so a specific shortcut you might want and save changes in a document you want to use. So I'm going to have it as a normal document, so that would be all documents in Word rather than a specific document one. And then I can click Assign. So when I click Close, it will start recording. So then you can see the little icon at the end of my cursor. So whatever I do now, it will start following me. So if I click the Alt key, and I can click S, and I can navigate that way with shortcuts, or I can click Control Escape to bring up the Start menu, then use the cursors to move. They recommend that you use the shortcut keys more than the mouse when you're using macro, so bear that in mind. OK, I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to stop that. Just to let you know that does exist. So let's go back to macro recorder on Dragon. So come up to the top and select tools and I want you to come down and select add new command. Now I told you before in my previous video tutorial had auto text and graphics. Have a look at that if you want to know how to use that. Today we're looking at Macro Recorder, hence the name, it records everything you do. So I need to decide what I want to do. How about I'll do a bit of research, project command. So what this means is, I want Google Chrome to open, ready for research. I want a Word document open as well, ready for research, so I can copy and paste information in, no plagiarism. I'm going to paraphrase it. So open up blank document. Also I might want to go to the references tab and have research open automatically. By the way, you haven't seen this, really useful option. Type in a subject, so just type in war and let it do a search. Then choose a heading. So I'm going to go to two sources. Now I want to use this heading just so I'm doing a bit of work. Click plus. There's my heading there and there's my comments for the information there as well. Now I'm going to do a bit of research. I'm going to come down and see what we've got. I'm going to click on this option here, add citation for that information. I can locate the book on Bing or locate the book on WorldCat where it give you citations and references and information as well. And there's my in-text citation. So I can build my references here plus I can use the internet. By the way, when you add your information here, if you go to many sources, they're all stored here for you later on. And there it is. And you can edit it. So it creates your source information. If it's not all there, you can also add the information that you want as well. But at least it stores it for you as you're building it. Right. So I know what I want to do. And I don't save. And I'm going to close Google Chrome as well. So let's create the command. So what I want to do is click the call button. See bottom left hand corner, it's now recording. So I want to open up Chrome first. And then I want to open up Word. And then I'll open up a blank document. I can use Control N or tap blank document. And remember, I want references tab. And I want my researcher open ready. And there you go. I've just recorded a quick macro. Now I can come down and click pause and carry on. Or click stop. I'm going to click stop. And when we close that little window, it will pop up with all my command movements. Again, bear in mind with this, once you get confident with this, you can start deleting various movements. For example, specific point from the cursor to the button it's pressed to save time, so it's a lot quicker. But be careful when you're doing that, because you might delete the actual option that presses a button with the movement. But if you scroll down, it does give you the movements. Look, for example, move left mouse button down, and I can click edit and choose to edit that as well if I need to. OK, so I want to click Save. I'm happy with that. And I want to close all the windows. So the command's called Research Project. Wake up. Research Project.
go to sleep. So you can see by adding more complex ones than that, you can set things up for yourself quickly to start doing things. So again, it's not as efficient as step-by-step -step or advanced scripting, but it still gives you an option to create macros easily and quickly. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.